To view any lessons you see here, you can visit us at samplekings.com. You can buy a download or purchase a DVD. Or you can join our SK Recording School. You can see all our lessons online and download over 73,000 samples. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go over this vocal I've got here in this track. I'm going to play it with the music that I've written. I've written here with the singer and she's doing the vocals uh, with some parts with her and I wrote the music myself so anyway as you can see here for this vocal track I've got a lot going on here I've got an EQ right here and this is a classic thing to do is to get rid of the bottom on the vocals it's very important to do because you don't need much bottom on the vocals you don't need to interfere with any of the lower frequencies within the recording session so I prefer to keep the bottom of the vocals and this is also a preset that comes in your Pro Tool systems. You can look under your EQ. I'm using a seven band EQ here as you can see and I'm going to use maybe two bands, the low uh, mid filter and then the high mid filter as you can see right here. So we cut off that bottom end there with that. That gives a great sound and it gives that nice young youthful sound for her voice. Her voice. Next I'm using some compression here as you can see. Got a compressor going on here. My standard compression, this sort of made us up, generally this is what I'm doing right now, I'll play it back and I may go back in and say, okay, I want to add something else. I may go to here and I go to a vocal, I was going to do a vocal leveler. In this case, you can see, we're going to be about 20 dB, but what I tend to do too, I'll listen back to it. I may want to increase the threshold level a little bit. And once I get the level, I think it's pretty good. That's right, I'll keep it there and I'm good to go. So I've got an EQ first, then a compressor. Now it's important to have an EQ and compressor first, particularly doing vocals. But sometimes I will put the compressor first if I'm trying to boost the sound first and then I will EQ it. Be aware of that. Next, use a one band because there's some noise somewhere in here. And I want to get rid of this bottom noise. Use a one band EQ as you can see right here. Next, I use a de -esser. This is important. Now, female de -esser, uh, is what I have here, as you says, it says a female DS high frequency. The reason why the S's, the D's, the P's, you know, these little s going on, we don't want that in the microphone, so we want to sort of cut back. So when that happens, we want this uh, plug in to attenuate to the sound, which means when, once I hear that sound, okay, I want to like attend to it. So let me control that sound, let me grab it and make sure it doesn't interfere with what we're trying to do. That's what a -er does, okay? So I've got these here, and when I play back the track, I get a nice pure sound. Now here's the order level. As you can see here, I sort of adjusted the level. Now at some points in the track, I will go into the volume, as you can see, this is volume, as you can see right there, right? And I will go into my track, let me sort of tighten a little bit here. You can see I just move the levels up, I got a level as high as I want to be here. At this point, this waveform is a little low. But I want to get that little peak in, ooh hoo hoo right here. So I made this part go a little bit louder, see that? And come back down to my standard level. Here I brought it down to get rid of the little breath in the beginning and brought it back up. So some parts, as you can see here, I'm sort of controlling the little breaths. This is a classic thing I do for breaths. I do not want to have this <gasps> happen in this track. So what I normally do is I will make a little point here, break point here, break point there, and then here, I'll come down to here, and I'll move this up or down. So this way, I can move it here, a slight breath. I move it here, we get even less breath. I want it to be natural, but I still don't want too much breath. So this is a great way to get rid of some of those breaths as well. Now you'll see here also that here, is a space, so I may just die off a little bit here and then peek back up. Even though there's no noise there, I did that just to get this little feel going on. And you'll hear it from here.
right there. I hear that. Now listen to that. Now hit my do right. I'm gonna start off from right here, and the automation is off. I'm gonna play this again now. I'm gonna put my automation on to read this these settings. I never would have told you just how I really felt So a little more natural. Now sometimes if I don't have enough of it, I may want to add a little, I want to add a little bit more. I don't know if she's breathing. I want to make sure they hear her breathing, but I want to make sure that's all gone. I want to be there, make them have that human feel going on, you know? So now I'll play it back again. I never would have told you just how I really felt about you. Now here in the mix, I have the drums come out. So it's important to have that breath. I want to have that nice, quiet feel happening. So when the singer, when they hit a singer, it's right there. Oh, wow, she's beautiful. But the breath would go, it would be a little too much of the natural thing. We want to get rid of that. So here, of course, obviously, as you can see, I went a little lower to my break point. And we'll look at this and I'll widen it out a little bit more so you can see it better. And you can see the breath right there. Now, without it, I'll go back here and I will... Uh, Turn the automation off and we'll play it from here. See that that's that's I don't like that at all. So it's important to make sure that you are controlling certain parts of the mix within the vocal. Remember, the vocals are the most important part of your recording session. So when you're recording, make sure they're actually accurate, very clean, use a great microphone, great mic pre, but in the process of mixing, make sure you want to get rid of some things and enhance others.